require uh, for our development strategy, for our national development plan. This includes not just in the economic sector, but also in providing leadership in all other sectors. So in that sense, for us, education is a key area and for one uh, and an area to which we will give uh, the highest priority. As you know, there are several uh, issues in the current education system. One of the main problems that we see in the education system is that, is that the trust in the education system has has broken. It's, it's uh, as in many other areas of our society, people no longer trust that these systems will work for them. Children no longer believe in the importance of education, nor do they feel as committed to the education system as perhaps a generation ago. So we need to change this. We need to establish the uh, trust in the system again. We need to f make sure that children feel excited about their education, that parents are able to hand over their children to the education system and have the faith that the education system will deliver. So for all, and, uh, for all these reasons, we, uh, we, we think establishing that trust in the education system is critical. We also know that there are huge disparities, inequalities in the education system. You belong to a particularly privileged section of our, within our school system, the elite schools, but in our thinking, there shouldn't be a division uh, within the school system where some children go to uh, good schools, popular schools as they are generally known, and then there can't be another category that, that is known as unpopular schools. I mean, that's not an acceptable situation. So our intention is to make sure that all schools deliver the best for all children, and we, ex we really hope that all of you would be able to be part of this journey and uh, work with us in making sure that the education system in Sri Lanka recovers its lost glory. Our education system was something that was, set, was regarded as an example by the rest of the world. We have delivered on our education system uh, previously. Sadly, in the last several decades, uh, decades, we have not fulfilled that promise of our education system. We need to recover it and we need to improve on, on what we have. We, we recognize that this, is, this problem has not been created by you or by uh, anyone else. The responsibility lies fairly with successive political, the, the political leadership. But uh, in, in the coming years, uh, we hope to continue to have this discussion with you about the policy directions and the, uh, re uh, the reforms we have planned for education. And I invite you all to work with us to get to bring our country and our education system to the place that it really deserves and to a point where uh, we can once again be proud of not just our education system, but also our country. Uh, so thank you very much once again for your attention and for giving me this time to speak a few words with you. I look forward to working with all of you in the future. Thank you very much.